Okay. <laughs> the transfer window is done. And I have outdone myself in the transfer windows. And normally, like, I've outdone myself. I've made amazing transfers. So that's, you know, that's probably my biggest strength in football managers is spotting a good player, signing a good player. But this time, the players are great. Uh, but I've I've made this tactic that I've never used before. This is like such me logic, right? So, you know, we finished the season. It was a little bit worrisome. Didn't end well. Um, so we're on thin ice at the start of the season. So I've built an entirely new tactic that's completely untested and then done the transfers, spent a third of a billion pounds, um... And basically gone entirely all in on an untested tactic. So, I'm going to get sacked, aren't I? Clearly. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my friends. Um, I've spent £402 million. Pounds. Um... A little bit of it I had to do over time because it got a bit crazy. I'll take you through it. But first, I'll show you through show the outs. Um, so Ruben Suarez went. Godwin Asia went for £35 million. Bilbao for eight. Garcia for 17 A lot of these are sort of, they're like meh, older players that we were going to get rid of just even without changing the tactic entirely. Uh, Marquez went to Porto. Which is nice. Like, he's a good player as well, but £31, he's on a lot of wages. And I needed to raise funds because of that shit show um, on the other side. Um, Bonifazi went to Shanghai for £54 million. Because why not? Um, I'm that yes, he's on 275 grand a week. You can see why he went. Um, Delgado went for £29 million. Like, and that, again, another good player. Didn't really need to sell him. But you know what I'm like? I kind of like to have my own players. And even if the ones I've already got are good, I'm kind of like, no, but I didn't sign them. They don't count. Um, and Santiago, a playmaker. A few of these players I think I didn't actually want. I was okay to keep. But because we didn't make Champions League, a lot of them started complaining about lack of Champions League football. We're also in the midst of selling our goalkeeper. And we're bringing another one in because he kicked up a fuss about no Champions League football. So we raised quarter of a billion pounds and then spent four hundred <laughs> pounds in which has got to be a record. Like it's it's I think I'm pretty sure it's my record. Um I know some of you are like far flung in the future and you've you've got a team that's worth bazillions of pounds and you can sign players for 150 million, but for like normal ish signing ish, nine hundred and two million signings, I think this is kind of special record. I don't know whether to show you the tactic first. I'll show you the tactic first because so you can get an idea. Um I've decided against all logic to stick with the inverted wing backs, which we're now making attackers along with a deep line playmaker. I've got a box-to-box -box midfielder called Ben Hur. Honestly, I didn't sign it because of the name. And two up top with attacking winners. Uh, Sonny pointed out, which is a great shout, that Delaney it wasn't that good, but he also has stays back at all times. Despite the fact he has no ability to defend, and he's really good going forward. So we're, we're trying to get rid of that at the moment. Um, so this is the tactic... Um, I tried it in pre-season, if that counts. We did really well against shit. To be fair, Everton and Milan, but they didn't even play their first team, so I can't even. I can't even <laughs> pretend. That... We're playing Barcelona in the, today as well. Away, we're gonna get sacked, aren't we? We're like hundred percent gonna get sacked. The, if we get sacked, that's the end of the journeyman, right? That's it. Okay, they're delighted with the signings. So let me take through. <laughs> let... Oh dear. Let me take through. This could imagine it it could be genius. That the percentage chance is small of this being genius. This is the riskiest thing I've ever done in football manager. Um because I haven't really got inverted wing backs to work yet, let alone found a formation that actually suits inverted wing backs. And I've signed players that aren't inverted wing backs and I'm gonna make them inverted wing backs because Loki. So and lots of these players are completely unproven in the league. Apart from those things. Plain sailing, lads. Plain sailing. Whether they they want us Champions League, 
Europa, oh no, that's the final. Yeah, Champions League football. So that's the good thing. They don't want us to challenge for the league. They realise that this is a, we'll call it a project. Um, a shit show, I like to call it. Um, but I'm having fun. And that's the main thing. So, Nikola Jovanovic from Benfica, a really good young player, is our new, one of our new inverted wingbacks. Five-star potential. He's only 19-year-old Serbian. Love a young Serbian. Um, he's going to be our inverted winger, wingback. And he's, he's two-footed, which is, like, perfect for inverted wingbacks. Obviously, they cut inside a little bit more. But if there's people in central midfield, they will bomb down the wings. So in, in, a, in a perfect world, well, I suppose in a perfect world, you'd, all your players would be two-footed. But you know what I mean? They they can do both. They, uh, they're going to be doing both on regular occasions. So the fact is, I need somebody that, ideally, that is two-footed. And this guy's going to do He's also a good free kick taker, because why not? He's got 15 caps. He's five-star protect. Paid a shit ton of money for him. Um... But he had a really good season at Benfica last year. They made a tidy profit, so I'm not sure they're too bothered. But he's a beast, right? Happy with that. Next up, we have Albert Ramos for 29.5 million from Salzburg, who is a centre-back. No messing about, no ball-playing centre-back, just fucking tackle, head, clear it. He's got a stupid little rat's tail on his chin. But other than that, he is just a beastly, solid defender with a ton of experience, 28 years old, you know, ancient for me, but he's he's just a beast, um, valued at 47 million, bringing him back home. So that I'm very happy with, and I'm playing him as a centre-back. Next up, we have Lewis Chinchilla. And no, I haven't nicknamed any of these players. His name is Lewis Chinchilla. I signed him, so we're using two wingers. <laughs> this is, okay, this is another Loki. I found, found this guy and thought, fucking sign him up. This guy's the perfect left winger. He's pacey, he's rapid, he's got all the mentals, he's great. Oh, shit. After I signed him, realised he was right-footed. So then they had to... The, the, yeah. Um, so that was good. But he is a beast, so we're now playing him on the right, um, which meant that we tried to sell Francis Mouth, but nobody wanted him for any reasonable sum. But then he kicked up a fuss, but I promised to sell him if he gets a bid of 110 million, which nobody's going to pay. So now, that's cool. Um... <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was so happy with finding this guy. And I'm like, that's he's not even left-footed. Um, but I will play him a bit on both sides. He's learning the right position, but I'm going to play him on both sides. His left foot's all right. Next up, you might recognise the name. You know I can spot a player. Halil Onku from Ghent. Oh, porn. Turkish international. 16 goals in 22 caps. We had him at Porto. They sold him for 7.5 million. He scored 34 league goals, averaging eight in, in Belgium, so we've signed him for 16 million, an absolute steal, this guy is an absolute monster, I can't believe uh, Porto sold him, he's valued at 42 million, this guy's is just beastly, right, he's absolutely beastly, so that's nice to get him back, next up we have Miguel Angel, Angel. Um, another centre-back option, much more of a ball-playing centre-back, a well-rounded player, still another Spanish player, I wanted a few more Spanish players, it was getting a bit silly, um, if, if I can at all, I'd like to get players from that country, unless they're, you know, just shit or I can't afford them and you kind of have to go foreigners. But um, very good player overall, not half bad. He'll be part of the, not sort of first team, in and around the first first 11. Next up, we have Augustin Guerrero for 36 minutes, another Benfican, who is our beastly centre-back, 24 years old, one cap. So our centre-backs, which is a big, Problem area last season has been sorted. This mentals and physicals of this guy is absolutely monstrous. So we have beastly centre backs completely replaced the defence. Next up, we have admittedly, I probably probably twenty million of that is because of the name. <laughs> I might have stopped um, bidding if his name wasn't Ben Hur. Uh, but he is an absolute monster. He's a Brazilian, 25 caps for Brazil. He's going to lead that central midfielder. He's an, he's worth 69 million, milady. Uh, he is ridiculously good at footballs. So that's what we've done. He's on a lot of money. He's on so he's 170 grand a week bargain. But he is he's an absolute beast, and he's still going to improve a little bit as well. Next up, we thought I thought you know what? Let's bring in an Englishman. And his name is Dean Barmby. We've signed him, obviously, for the left wing back position. 
obviously. But a, a really solid all-rounder, only 20 years old, six caps for England already. And it's just nice to have a bit of a, another Englishman in the team. He cost a lot of money, broke through at Chelsea last season, had a very good season. So, Dean Barmy, welcome. Left inverted wing-back, obviously. And next up, we have Fabrizio Sanchez, who is, I can't even remember what position this guy's supposed to be doing. He, oh, he's our deep-lying defensive playmaker from Tottenham, four stars, Uruguayan international. He's been all over the shop on loan and stuff, so hopefully he'll find a, find a home with us this time. So I'll show you the goalkeepers, uh, mainly because our goalkeeper, I wasn't that impressed, but, you know, I never am with goalkeepers, but he he kicked up a fuss. So his name is Juan Gui. Uh, he wanted to leave, so I was like, fuck off then. He's he's French. He's That's not the reason. He just happens to be French. Um, he's 215 grand a week. I was like, yeah, go on then, fuck off. He's off to Norwich because he wants to play Champions League football. And we're bringing in uh, Massimo Todaro, a Lazio... In, uh, he's, yeah, he's a senior international goalkeeper. He's a, another fucking stupid beard uh but again absolute monstrous monstrous goalkeeper and he's only going to improve as well and with i might not do this deal but if it goes through this is a uh, 25 year old russian striker who's fickle um pashkov so just for a bit of depth and stuff so we have our team this is our formation i've got no clue i honestly I honestly don't know. And we're playing Barcelona today. So at least it's the worst game that we've got all season. Let's get it out of the way. It's a high line. We're, we're closing down and all the good stuff and everything. Um, we're distributing to the playmaker. I'm trying that out a little bit more rather than to the centre-backs because a couple of our centre-backs aren't the best um, as as passers and vision and stuff. But we've got a deep a defensive deep line forward. So what I'm hoping is the inverted wingbacks, because I'm playing um, wingers. So the way the inverted wingbacks, I've done a little bit of research. I've done some reading up. I'll read your comments and stuff. Because of the way inverted wingbacks work, is what they'll do is they'll look to, as we attack, cut inside, obviously. But it specifies that if there's like two or more central midfielders in their way, they will look at there and go, no, there's no point in me going there. I'm just going to act as a normal fullback, a normal wingback bombing up the wing. So that's why we've got these to provide the width and the space for these guys to run into. I made sure that both of these, you know, pretty good at attacking as well. Decent long shots, decent finishing, because I, I, I expect them to score a few goals, to be honest. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way it works in my head anyway. Like... <laughs> Don't take any of this. Go read a proper blog or proper video series about tactics. I like to imagine how a tactics work and just assume that that's how it does. So, but don't take any of this information as like useful. All right. You should know that by now watching my channel. But in my mind, that's how it works. I don't want to hear anything from you guys about how that doesn't, how it works. In my head, that's how it works. All right. And that's how it's going to work. I, I feel like I'm just stalling for time at this point because I don't want to hit play. So we have a decent squad. Like, the squad is now fantastic. If you want to play whatever the fuck this is. 4132. We need to give it a name. Don't we? I feel, I feel like we need to give it a name. Um, let's call it what the fuck. <clears throat> I feel like a question mark. It needs to be a question mark. Can I not just save it? Can you not save a question mark? For fuck's sake. Exclamation mark. Oh, you're allowed there, Maya. Okay, what the fuck? Okay. Feel free to pause the video and have a think about the score prediction for this game. I'm going to go with 2-0 Barcelona. I'd probably accept that if we created chances. Munoz, the youngster, is going to play on the left-hand side because he's two-footed as well, which is very nice. Um, Onku and Kurz, who I've kept up front. Francis Mouth is, uh, he's probably like 110, but that's that's not going to happen. He can play as a winger and play up front as well. That's probably why I don't need that striker. Thomas is transfer listed by request, but I've made his transfer so high that nobody will want him, but shh, don't tell him that. And uh, we'll be good to go. So we've got Ramos and Angel. 
So we've got a Spanish centre-back partnership, which is lovely, which is nice to see. Two guys that don't know full-back positions, a goalkeeper that doesn't want to be here. <laughs> good. Felix Robert doesn't want to leave, which is good, because he's our best player. He's wanted by PSG, but it's important that we kept hold of him. Right, let's just do it. Like I said, if we lose 2-0, but we create, let's say, half the chances that they do at Barcelona... I'd be okay with that. If we get pumped 4-0 and we've had one shot, then I'm worried. Okay? Well, I'm already worried, but I'm more worried. Okay. I'm, I've never been so nervous kicking off the start of a season. Normally, I'm feeling pretty confident, optimistic even. Today, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. Right. <sighs> Let's do this, people. Good luck, everyone. And I mean that in the most religious of stances because we might need baby cheeses on our side. I thought we were going to concede after four minutes. Okay. Kurz. That's decent. You've got lots of people that are good on the ball. Delorney, who never gets forward, getting forward. Good to... That might be the reason. Give it to, give it to your team, mate. Ben Hur. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Munoz, the left winger. Whips one in. It's dangerous. This can't be a Barcelona attack, can it? Surely. Get it. Yes, Jovanovic. So there's the inverted wing back. So he's pushing in. We've got possession. So he's pushing inside to make it almost like a three midfield. So although it looks although it looks like we only have one central midfielder, which yeah, is technically true. It's it's when we've got possession, there's more people in the middle. That's okay. We've not had a shot, but they've only had three. With no good efforts. We did have a shot though. It was blocked. I saw it. I saw the shot that was blocked. And just if you don't know about inverted wingbacks. Um, when you haven't got the ball. They act exactly like wingbacks. They, they they don't do anything, any funny business. They just, they're just wingbacks. It's only when you've got the ball. When you're going up the other end. Okay. Wow look at this. Passing. From Barcelona. Oh, Ben Hur almost steals in. If you don't know the Ben Hur, what Ben Hur is, ask your grandparents. Good block. And again. Block it. Fit <laughs> the cross bar twice. That's fine. How have we not had a shot? It's bullshit. Oh, Kurz. Pass it. Send him off. Send him off. Send him off, please. I beg of you, game. <laughs> okay. I feel like it's 50 50 now. I don't feel like we've got an advantage, but I feel like it's 50-50. <laughs> They're going to still beat us. That's going to actually be embarrassing. They're going to have 10 men for an hour. I'll take a draw. <laughs> come on, come on. Good tackle, Jovanovic. That's what I want to see. That's, that's really poor. And again. Okay, defensively, he's looked brilliant so far, Jovanovic. Look at that. Calm as you like. Munoz, the youngster. Come on, let's see a bit of magic. Okay, might need to feel like we're moving the ball really slow. This is good. I'm really impressed with Jovanovic. So there he is, cutting inside. So he's making the run here, so you can see. This is where we want him to be. <laughs> Get in, boys. Get in. The right winger that never gets forward gets forward. Whips one into the left winger that I'm using because I signed a left winger, but he's right footed because I'm a genius. And we are 1 0 up. And even if we win this, it kind of doesn't count now because they're 10 men, but I will fucking take it. It just needs to buy us time to keep our job. Because if we have a bad start, we're gone. So I'll take I'll take a freebie. They're going to score now, aren't they? Good block, Bambi. Son of Nicky. Look at that. Look at that for a ball. Go on. Go on. Halil. It's 2 0. We're smashing him. I think I would have, we would have beaten him with 10 men. With the uh, 11 men. We, we were just building up to it anyway. Okay. Keeper doesn't jump because he doesn't want to be here. And he doesn't care. He's basically David De Gea. He's kept here against his will. Okay, this is big. This, you know, I think we might win the league. <laughs> Even I can't say that as a joke. Oh, look at that, though. Munoz. Kurz. Hello. 
everything's got a bit like a big bucket of salt because 10 men. But hello, look at that finishing. It's deadly. Both strikers off the mark. <clears throat> oh, just in case you're wondering, um, the football manager stream. Come on, hang on, I'm going to score again. The football manager Brazil save that we're doing, the Brazil Wonder Kid save, um, is starting next week now. So next Monday it's starting. Uh, this week, um, I just, I didn't stream. What day am I recording this? I'm recording this s Monday. So I didn't stream, and you're seeing this. I didn't stream yesterday because it was the 12th here in Northern Ireland. And that means lots of people dressed in orange playing terrible music with penny whistles and cymbals and drums whilst walking directly outside your house for eight hours. And I didn't get any sleep. <laughs> But I'll be back Wednesday with a little fun stream. And then I think Friday we might do a poker night. So if you want to hang out. Right. Let's go for the chinchilla. We'll bring him on the left-hand side. It's fine. So Pascal is now our backup left inverted wing back. Uh, Sanchez is signed to be our right inverted wing back. <laughs> and let's go for a Francis man. Let's, let's replace the wingers. <coughs> You've not created a ton. Considering <clears throat> half the game has been against 10 men. But now we're, we're continuing to dominate. And remember, the Spanish League has decided on results against each other. So this is handy if it ever gets to that point. I would like to keep a clean sheet. Let's have a look at old uh, Nicky Barnby. See how he's getting on. That's a terrible defensive header. Just inviting pressure. It's a good ball. Hint of offside. Goo. It was offside, yeah. It was offside. Oh, there's a flag for the corner, isn't it? Oh, can you net? Good header away. That's it. Good pressure. Good pressure. Oh, get up. Help him up. Help him up, Curse. Pull him to his feet angrily. Oh, goo. I am going to miss saying his name. Uh, Barnby. Fucking hell, Barnby. That is a horror show, mate. Oh, and now he's just been mugged right off. <laughs> it's not great, Barnby. It's not a good look. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, they are... They don't know where to go. Okay. Yeah, they're just trying to hold on for that 3-0 defeat. Barnby, come on. Oh, it's cut. What's the goalkeeper doing there? Near post, you dickhead. It didn't look dangerous at all. I was like, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Barnby didn't make a tackle, and the goalkeeper just took some fucking weird positioning. It's 3 1. I don't like the fact they've met, they've had more better chances than us. If they don't come back from this Barcelona. No. Definitely offside. Yeah, look. None of those players are interfering with the goalkeeper, though, so technically not offside. But that's fine. We will accept that. I don't know the rules of football because the other day, the other day um, what striker was it? Isako, defender, scored for Crystal Palace with his shoulder, and it was a handball. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know that was the rules. So I've just given up on the rules of football. Like Francis Mouth. Decent ball. Chinchilla's there. Go on, Chinny. Cheeky back heel from Barnby. Look, there's the run we want to see. Oh, it's unlucky. Getting in the box, arriving late for the cutback. So it's kind of kind of working. Um Pascual. Come on, just need some sharpness. Give him, give him five minutes. And the centre back. Okay. So it's hard to know what what we learn today, because ten men, you know, for an hour. What we've learned is we can score, like, but then against ten men. But the, at least the strikers have scored. We're, I'm assuming we're top of the league, smashing it. No, we're third. Oh, fuck you, game. Fucking alphabet, alphabetical order. Um, yeah. Barmby. 
Wait, hang on, did he get a man? Oh, is that just a random news thing? He didn't get man of the match, did he? Yeah, Munoz got it. Nice, he's the youngster. That's that's really good. It was already here. Fit what? What? How do you need a rest? For fuck's sake, man. You better not be one of them lazy bastards. I, I'm, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away. we still got £20 million to spend, boys. <laughs> the projection's not looking fruity. I should just buy so many players over time and then just end the save before the financial difficulties catch up with us and we just get destroyed. How on earth do you need a rest? That will give you a week off. Luckily, we bought centre-backs, so it's not a big deal until there's injuries. Right, I'm not going to bore you to death with the Europa League group stage. Um, so I think we'll start off. I won't play too many games because, like I said, we don't really know how this tactic is going to work yet. That's Write that off. It's 10 men. We don't know. And before then, it looked pretty solid defensively, but we didn't create anything in attack before 24 minutes. So we won't play too many games. I'll come back for like Celta Vigo around that, that area. But let me <laughs> let me know what you think. Two questions. Who's the best signing? You can go on name bases, in which case it's probably Ben Hur or Chinchilla. Um, or you can actually go on skill based, who do you think the best signing is? And will this work? Obviously, don't give me advice because I'll ignore that totally. But I just want to know will this work? Uh, will we finish top four this season? I'm. I'm feeling pessimistic about it. I'm going to think. I'm going to say no. I think we're going to bail on it after about eight games because it's going horribly wrong. That's my call. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, obviously, this is our last club of the uh, journeyman. Whatever happens, happens. If we get sacked in a month, that's the end. Um, if not, obviously, the, the goal is to win the league. Uh, so it should only... <laughs> if, if we can get a tactic that works, it should only be a season or two. So it's coming up soon. And then we've got the secret project that starts and then the big one club save that we're doing to finish off fm20 so make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you're new i'll see you next time bye bye